bought a National Travelers RV for a new customer show. When you come in the door, you got your queen bed with storage underneath. In the storage is going to be your uh, crank handle for the stabilizer jacks and your awning handle for the awning. Um, next, while we're in the front, put your TV antenna up here. Basically, you just crank it up. Once it's all the way up, you pull down and turn to fine tune to get a better picture on your television. Make sure when you go to put it down, you line the two arrows back up, and then you lower it. Uh, you got your speakers, smoke detector over here on the window. It's got an emergency exit window. Basically, get the blind out of the way, take the screen off, and this will go all the way out, or it will also open as a window. Uh, air conditioner turned on you just got knobs over here you got high cool low fan high fan low cool high cool over here you've got the uh, thermostat of course the more blue you got the colder it's going to be opposite directions going to be warmer according to the thermostat um, got your dinette which also folds into a bed pretty simply Also, you have storage underneath. Both sides. The table loose. another bed. Um, to go along with your TV antenna, over here on the wall, you've got your antenna booster. To turn it on, just push the button, green light comes on. Make sure you turn that off after you're done camping, otherwise it's going to run your battery dead. And that's your connections for the DVD player. Uh, light switches, pretty obvious what those do. Water pump switches on the wall. Uh, it's an on-demand pump. So basically, turn on, leave it on if you don't have city water, and um, it'll turn on and off as it needs to to take care of your supply. Stove, pretty standard, sink standard. This radio has got a USB port on it, which is meant for just for charging. You can't hook an iPod up over here, but it is your uh, DVD, CD, and radio all in one. Three buttons over here turn on and off the different speakers. It also has Bluetooth built into it. Um, refrigerator. Three-way fridge made by Dometic. It's gas or, or I'm sorry, it's gas or electric. Basically, turn it on, auto light comes on. If you're plugged in, it's going to automatically run off of electric. If you uh, unplug, it's going to switch over to gas. Only thing you've got let you know it's uh, running basically is this auto light. If it doesn't light on gas, the check light's going to come on. Most generally, you just got the propane off. It takes on these a good 10 12 hours to get cold, so you want to turn it on the night before you go camping. Furnish for the thermostat is pretty self explanatory. Turn it on, set your temperature, that's about it. Got your bunk beds back here. Down below the bunk beds, got your power distribution panel, which has your 110 and 12 volts all in it at once. Um, it tells you on here what's what. It's all labeled. If you ever disconnect your battery, you've got two 40 amp fuses that if you disconnect your battery and hook it back up backwards, it'll blow those so it doesn't hurt anything in the campus. Just keep that in mind if you uh, hook it up backwards and nothing works inside. Check these two fuses. Now on your outlets, they're all 15 amp. So basically what that means is you can't run a whole lot of electrical at one time or else you'll, you'll blow breakers. So you want to kind of keep minimum down to what you're running at once.
in the bathroom you got your commode and the, sh and the shower to uh, use the commode you got a foot flush basically to add water you just barely push down to get more water in the commode and once you flush it pushes just a little bit back in there but to fill it up more you just barely push down uh, there should be some chemicals in here you want to make sure you use them every time after you dump your tank um, before you use it again to keep the odor down and break down all the material on the shower you've got an on and off on the back of the shower head it's kind of just for water saving um, the best thing to do is probably to get it hot get get soaked up or wet turn the shower head off and then uh, once you get soaked up turn it back on and rinse off On the front, you got a battery, it's a 24 battery. Um, it gets charged as you plug in while you're plugged in. And while you drive down the road, you got your propane tank. Basically, all you got to do is turn it on and uh, just use your propane as you should. Uh, when you're done camping, you want to make sure you shut that off. So you, that way, in case you get a leak down the road somewhere, it doesn't. Basically, if you're out camping somewhere with city water, you just hook your hose up to it. Make sure you put a pressure regulator on the spigot, not on the camper, because it will swell your hose up. So you don't put it on the in here, you got your 30 amp cord. Uh, just plug it into any campground that's got 30 amp. It'll supply you plenty of power. If you want to use it at home, you can get an adapter to put on this plug to plug it at home, but do not run the air with this, or it'll, it'll you'll end up melting and stuff. water tank fill. This is just in case you spill out water. You just put this tank in the water pump inside. Uh, you don't use the water pump when you're using city water over here. When it's full, it'll come back out. Down here, you got your valves for your black and gray tank. Black's going to be your toilet. Gray's going to be your sink and shower. Um, if you camp somewhere, that's got sewer hookup, you want to make sure to leave this valve closed even though you got sewer hookup because all your liquids will come out and solids will stay behind. That'll mess up your tank. Uh, when you dump, once you hook your hose up here, you always want to dump the black first, let it run completely out, shut it, and dump the gray second to clean out your sewer hose. Now on your stabilizer jacks on the back, they're not meant for leveling. All you want to do with these is crank them down till they touch. Once they touch, go about another couple turns just to stabilize it. Next to it is going to be your uh, bumper plugs. You can take these out, put your sewer hose in here, and then put your cat back on there. On the back, you got your spare tire. The little black key is what's going to open up your outside shower. Open it up, you see you got hot and cold faucet in there in the sprayer. Here you got your water heater. Um, it's a gas only to light it. Put it on pilot on, get a match lighter. Reach in here to the pilot light, push this down, uh, once you pot light lit, hold it down for approximately 30 seconds, let off, pot light should stay lit, turn it to on, your, your adjustment for the thermostat, you got low, medium, high, I suggest high to conserve as much of the hot water as possible by just adjusting the temperature at the faucets. Down below, you got the anode rod. 
for the water heater, which is also your drain plug. Uh, it's got it's made of a material that's soft, soft enough that uh, what will happen is it'll eat away at this rod, any kind of contaminants in the water, eat away at that rod, so eating away at the water heater. You want to check that about twice a year. Down below that, you got your low point drains. That's for winterization. When you're uh, winterizing a camper, you want to take these out to drain out the water heater. 